morning back to basics it's Dana Miss Dana Juris and I'm your vlogger for today you will have to excuse the lighting I'm actually in Arizona it's in the morning and the Sun is bright and I'm kind of filming this as I walk and talk into work so February is love month um, and our topics this month really gonna I think have a theme around love in different forms and shapes and this is mind week and the questions are about has uh, has the way that we show love to ourselves and others changed since weight loss surgery and kind of a corollary to that is uh, a question about self-esteem versus vanity so, um, the first part has the way that we show love to ourselves and others changed. Yes, it has for me. I am 19 months post-op from a VSG, which I had June 12, 2012. And I will say that the way that I practice self-love and the way that I practice and show love for others is definitely evolving. Prior to surgery, I, I do think I love myself in many ways. I've not really had a problem with self-esteem. Um, I felt like I was smart and funny and talented in many ways, uh, but I had a lot of uh, a lack of self-esteem regarding my body and body image. I had always been heavy. Um, and so um, I think the way that I practiced love for myself was to do the things that I enjoyed as far as uh, you know reading and music and telling myself that uh, I did a good job at work and things like that. Um, and I still do those things. But I also think I showed myself love through, you know, comforting myself with food or rewarding myself with food. And um, those things are, try are, are changing to some extent. Very much when I talk about the way that I showed love to others, you know, I would hug and kiss people and tell them that I loved them and, um, you know, friends and family, um, or buy things. You know, how do you show love? You, you, you buy things for them, or you give them food. Our holidays and birthdays and things at our house were all about food or all about the presents and less about the time sharing with each other. Yeah, there was some sharing with each other, but not really at a deep level. And really since surgery, I think that has changed to some extent. Part of it consciously and part of it unconsciously. So the conscious part is very much, I try to not show my love through over <laughs> feeding people. And it's still a struggle, I, I think, but um, I've tried to do, you know, family celebrations, birthdays, and Christmas, and things like that, and incorporate other things that we can do together and not just eat. So, yes, we still may have big Christmas dinner, but I have had games, um, or I've talked about, uh, you know, us just having fun together. Um, my birthday celebration, I turned 50 last summer and I made it really clear to my family that I wanted to have an experience together and us do something together that was not centered around eating. Um, so I've done those kinds of things. Another thing that I feel like has changed as far as how I show love to others is I find myself just reaching out more to people 
and saying, how are you doing? I care about you. I was thinking about you. Um, what's going on in your life? I'm here to support you. And that, that like I said, I, I don't think it was a conscious choice. Um, it was with my husband, I would say, um, because I had heard so much about the, the negative things on, you know, ne potentially negative impacts on uh, uh, relationships and weight loss surgery. I've made a real conscious effort to, to verbally and non-verbally show and tell my husband how much I love him and how important he is to me and um, not uh, tell him that, you know, this journey wasn't about him and and the fact that I thought I was an at you know that he didn't love me the way I was that it was about me um, but yet I didn't want it to change and impact our relationship um, in a negative way so I, I made that a conscious decision with my husband but <clears throat> I think unconsciously that slopped over into other areas um, in other people. As far as my self-love, what I will say that I think I find myself spending more time reflecting about what's important to me in my life and more time to just get alone in my in my brain and quiet time and more self-introspection and trying to figure out, you know, what I like and what I don't like about myself, and that is a, a self-love. Um, so it's, you know, spending time with me is important as spending time with other people. And um, this has become actually even a bigger challenge, I think, as I've moved into maintenance, because when I'm stressed and fatigued, which I have been a lot lately, I have found that the old ways of me trying to comfort or show myself love and caring with food are definitely creeping in um, and um, or stalking in or slamming in uh, if you looked at my eating from last week so um, this is definitely a new phase for me is trying to figure out you know when you're in the losing phase you're showing yourself love that way now I have to realize this is deeper than just showing myself love in you know watching the scale go down and saying good job the second part of the question really was about self-esteem and vanity and what's the difference and it's funny because over the past year, probably even the last six months, I've heard myself use in videos and probably real life um, conversation with people the word vain or vanity more than I ever remember. So I really am struggling with at what point does self-esteem cross over into something that people would consider quote vanity and when you use to those two words you know one has a positive connotation and one has a negative connotation and um, I don't know where it crosses and I think that's what I'm trying to figure out the boundary of where it crosses over you know when we're little kids and we have little kids in our life I've, I have a granddaughter who's six and you know they're the center of attention and we all focus on them and we talk about how smart they are and how pretty they are and how, how um, exciting they are and how special they are and they focus of attention and at some point as a child that's wonderful and then it magically crosses over into when they bought off onto that look how special I am, look how wonderful I am, look at me and then uh, suddenly it becomes a quit having a big head. It's not all about you. Hasn't happened that with my granddaughter, but somewhere in our brains, I think that happens to us as children. And I don't know where the crossover is. You know, at some point, we all know someone who we consider vain. It's all about them. They're tooting their own horn constantly. They're, you know, obnoxious about it. Um, 
Is that because they're saying it out loud? Or is that because we're jealous? Or is that because our own insecurities? I don't know. Self-esteem is about being confident in yourself and who you are as a person. Physical and a mental aspects, I think. Um, and I don't know where it crosses into vanity. I'm finding that I struggle with that as, as it's kind of become apparent to me. So I've actually talked to my a couple of friends and said, "Am I being in vain when I, you know, when I talk about, oh look, I, you know, I'm in a new smaller size, or look what I did, or you know, I've got selected for a special project at work, and kind of said, is it okay for me to talk to you guys about this? And they're like, yeah, great, but I'm kind of, Ooh, you know, I don't, I don't want to get people thinking, well, she's just full of herself." So this is something I have to noodle around and be able to think on. I've given myself, uh, this topic has given me something to think about and try to come back and formulate a, a better answer in my mind. Um, so I hope it will do you too. Um, in the meantime, you know, if you grew up showing self-love and showing love to others through, you know, food, got to get rid of that in this journey if you've had in your brain that you can't be proud of your accomplishments and uh, who you are as a person even time to work on that and um, I think I got some work to do in that area and um, if you have great thoughts for me um, or for any of us please share we'd love to hear from you and um, I hope you have a wonderful day bye-bye